that running a business ain't easy. And if anyone tells you otherwise, they're just lying to you. And running a bikini <laughs> car wash? Well, as glamorous as that might sound. Okay, I'll admit, it's pretty glamorous. But it wasn't always like this. I like you. You're a fun guy, you're super nice. But yeah, something makes me think you're not that into me. No, 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 I'm totally into you. What's my major? Botany. Mm. I mean, it's our history. That's what. Journalism. One night stands are fun and all, but the guy one night standing has to be able to focus on me. Otherwise, I could just go home and vibrate. I just got a new toy, actually. Um, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> oh, I should have done that first. Do you have any batteries? Yo, Jack. You get any tonight? Uh, kinda, sorta. Nice, man. Gotta tell me your secret sometime. Level 36, man. <laughs> hey, Jack. Uh, party's wrapping up, man. Where's Tracy? Uh, she left. Oh. You wanna have a threesome with us? Um, ew. Just looking out for my boy. So sweet of you. Just gonna grab a beer. <laughs> we should play a game. Let's play cowboys and naked chicks. Does it involve boobies? Of course it involves boobies. <laughs> I like it. Boobies! Oh, hey, Brittany. Jack, guess what? I just interviewed Tracy. Seems she dropped you like a bad habit. <laughs> Wait, hold up. What did she say? Um, spoiler alert. OK, OK. Can we keep my love life out of your documentary, please? I don't think I can. So does that mean you couldn't get it up? No. It was up. It was up just fine. It was well, next time I have sex, you want to film it? I'm not making that kind of film. I'll just interview Vex. I think he's a bit busy. Our fire oh, <laughs> oh, hey, Britt. <laughs> Either you got handcuffs? <laughs> oh, you were about ready to tell me what Tracy said. Nice try. <sighs> Creep. What happened? My boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. <gasps> what did he do now? Is everything OK? He screwed his masseuse, again. Jack, can I crash here for like a day or two? I'll pay you. Uh, yeah, the couch is available. You can uh, sleep there, tell a bunch of space. Thanks. I'm gonna go make sure she's okay. Okay. Mm. Poor Amanda. Why? Well, she's like totally in love with Tori. It's obvious. I didn't know that Amanda was into it. It's obvious, Jack. I didn't know that she liked- It's obvious. Nice. <laughs> Want to grab a beer? Yeah. Great. <laughs> mm. Bro, you can go for it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. You okay? Oh, me? Yeah. Sorry, I zoned. For you? Ugh, light beer. Hey, Britt, did you get me dancing with those cutie patooties from the football team? You mean the basketball team? Whatever, they were hot. No, I didn't. Battery was low. Aw, that's a shame. Mm -hmm. Jack, come hang out with me. Oh, I can't, actually. I've got to clean the place, because uh, I'm actually renting this from my dad, so I can't just, can't just trash it, you know? <laughs> it looks fine. Come dance with me. Another time. Another time, promise. Yay! I'll remember that. You hanging out tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, should be. Yeah. Cool. I'll text you. Oh, yeah! Say what your mama gave you, baby! Yeah!
Gotta collect rent. Oh, I'm a wee bit short. How much? Like, sorta. All of it? You're at the casino again. Dude, we talked about this. No, I'm good for it, I swear. All right, man. Thanks. Love you. Oh, I was just collecting rent. Um, can I give it to you Friday? Uh... My financial aid fell through, and I can't even pay my last payment, which means I might not even graduate. Shit, that sucks. Yeah, 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 of course. Thanks. Hey, are, are you in touring? <sighs> Shit, my dad. Oh. Jack here? I'm here, I'm here. Thanks, Tori. Hey, I'll, I'll see you later in class. Hey! Mm. You didn't return my calls. Just stopping by to make sure you didn't burn down the joint. <laughs> no, no, no. Still here, not burning. So, um, is she living here? Tori? No, not at all. Your mother and I didn't get this place for you so you can have all your friends living here. No, 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 no. We just, um, I just had a little gathering last night. Paint, painting party. Nice. We painted. Can I see? Yeah. Soon. But it's not done yet. <laughs> mm. Okay. Sure. Yeah, so Tori just, you know, she stayed over last night because she wasn't feeling well. Must be the pink fumes. You know what? I think you're right. Actually, yeah, I, I think it was the fumes, yeah. Oh, man, do I have the beer shits. Oh, hey, Mr. Miller. He stayed over, too, because fumes. Mm. You know, Jack, you only expect the best from you. And anything less is, well, less and not acceptable. Absolutely. If we find out you're screwing up, we're using this as a party house, you can say goodbye to the skate shop, the house, the car, all of it. Understand? You do want the skate shop, right? And, and, and the other stuff, too. <laughs> Good. That's my boy. I'm your boy. I'll call you later. Awesome, Dan. Thanks. Next time, answer my call. business. Like, I don't think I'm ready for all that. Jack, you've spent the last four years getting ready. Oh, come on, professor. There's got to be another way. Look, look, I'll retake my final. Not an option. I got to be honest. This whole semester, it seemed like you were coasting. Your colon cancer awareness campaign? I thought we had a good campaign. Got anal? It was catchy. Listen, the only reason I'm offering you this is that your father and I go back pretty far. And he has a good mind for business. Thought you might too. Maybe that gene skipped me. Or I'm adopted. Frank, the manager's taking another job, so it works out perfectly. Look, I don't know shit about car washes. Run it for a week, show a profit. Do that, you pass. I would give my firstborn child to caress that ass. You would give up a tiny, beautiful newborn baby. I think I would. <laughs> so, does your dad know that you lost your job yet? No. Does he know you're renting out rooms to your friends to pay for your rent? No, not at all. And get this, I got a 24 on my final. Wow, that's fantastically awful. 
Oh, just look at Tori for a sec. That should make you feel better. <laughs> no, I still feel like a loser. Yeah, me too. I swore that would work. You know my dad's deal, man. All I have to do is just pass my business classes and he gives me the cash for the skate shop. Yeah, I know. You've been talking about it for years. But what if you open it in a bomb, dude? Maybe just go work for him. It'd probably be easier. I don't know. My professor made me an offer. Low job? I mean, I guess it's worth it in all of you really want the rate. No, dumbass, not a blow job. If I show him that I can run a business successfully for a week, he'll give me the credit I need to pass. What kind of business? Car wash. Shit. It's Big Tony and Bobby Bullets. So they're real names? Vex, my man. How the hell are you? Yeah, Vex. How the fuck are you? Come on. Aren't you guys from here? Because you sound like you just fell out of a Scorsese movie. Hey, I'll cut you for that, you know? No, Bobby, relax. It really wasn't that bad of a criticism, you know? He did say Scorsese, huh? Well, listen, huh? you ain't got to be from New York to be New York. Uh, I think you do. You know, Vex, Paulie is awaiting his payment. And it's our job to collect. I'll pay it back, guys. Relax. Paulie ain't one for relax. No, Paulie don't do that shit. You know, Paulie. He uh, prefers to break people's arms. Yeah, next! That don't make Polly a priority, huh? Mm -hmm. You see, Polly lent you the cash. Now it's your job to pay it back. Quite fucking simple. And if that don't work out, well, <sighs> things that are uh, attached to your body, they start breaking. This is very painful. I told him I'd have it this week. You better. Or snap! Huh? End of the week, bitch! Or snap! End of the week. Oh, damn, baby, you got a whole lot of junk up in that trunk. What do you say? I pull up that bump and smack them. Oh. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Tony. Dude, it was a sure thing. Famous last words. So what are we going to do now? You're going to help me with the car wash. Oh, sure. But hey, I don't work for less than 30 bucks an hour. You know, man's got to have his principles. 10 bucks an hour. Sweet. <laughs> Fuck principles. Oh, man. Great. Dude, we should hire Tori, too. Then we get some mad business. Oh, sure, yeah. Why don't we just open up a bikini car wash? It's a brilliant idea. That was a joke. Oh, think about it, man. It can't miss. We'd be printing money. Vex, I'm not running a bikini car wash, man. It's like seedy. But highly profitable, and I can help. <laughs> help? Dude, we got a hot chick. Imagine her, like, soaping up your car. Maybe she winks at you, she blows you a kiss. You achieve wood. Perfect! <laughs> Absolutely, but there's more than that to running a business. Uh, we got it all figured out, Marvin. Um, you got the numbers figured out? Yeah, Jackson numbers whiz. Right? We might need help with the numbers. Uh, it's not exactly the kind of business my dad would be cool with, you know? And the professor? I don't think he wants me turning his little car wash into something out of a porno. <laughs> I'm so in. <laughs> me too! <laughs> uh, who said you could join the team? It'll be just like senior year, when we rule Liberty High. Oh, uh, it's a little different than student government, bro. Do you even remember high school? You know, considering you were stoned half the time? Oh, I think it was more than half. It doesn't even matter. Like, I didn't agree to this. But so... if you do, I can make sure we actually make a profit, which is the whole point, correct? Yeah. I mean, I sure as shit need the cash, and Jack needs the grade. Cool down, guys. All right, this is my mess. I make the decision. So you're in too. Nice! <laughs> but no, I didn't say that. Then what are your other options? Huh? You know, we've got less than a week, and you've got no money. You know, what else is there? I mean, a lemonade stand? Come on, let me hear your ideas. I thought so. Think about it, man. The hot chicks, sexy bikinis, it can't miss. There's no guarantee According that... to my calculations, it will be a tremendous success. I mean, it would be nice if it were. We could run specials. Buy five washes, get one free. The theme days, hot nursing. Uh, and I'll do for free. Just... Help me get her. <laughs> Dude, get in line, all right? Only a special kind of guy goes balls deep with Tori. Why don't you try with someone like Amanda? Amanda is totally into Tori. Whatever, I just mean someone more realistic and less Tori-ish. Oh my god, would it be funny if he lost Tori to a girl? No, <laughs> it will be uproarious. It's just that you guys always get the girls, you know? And I'm just not. I should be proud right now, but I don't want to think about you alone in your room next time I'm banging. 
Come on, Jack. Let's help this bastard get laid. Ah, uh, damn it. I got myself into this mess, didn't I? Yup. But this could be your chance. You know, my bro graduated with a degree in engineering, and now he's flipping burgers. It's shit out there, man. Us millennials, we're screwed. Like, if you join the team, I cannot guarantee you're gonna land her. Just guarantee that you'll try. Remember the millennials. Uh, That's the spirit. <laughs> yeah. Can one of you boys help rub some oil on me? So, Tori, I've got a possible business proposition for you. What do you think of this blue? I love it. I love these bottoms. Yeah, they go with these, too. Yeah. What about this one? That one's cute. I like the blue bottoms. I want to do that blue bottoms. Yeah. Yeah. This must be what heaven looks like. I don't think there are girls in bikinis and heavy bags. Jeez. <laughs> hey, Marvin, big favor. Shut the fuck up. Shut him up. Guys, is this too skimpy? Oh, hell yeah. For the record, this is gonna be fucking awesome. Standard wash, the premium, or the happy endings, please come all over me, rub down. I'll take the last one. Please pull it around, and then you enter through the rear. Yes, ma'am. Plenty of life to live, but it's safe to say that this will be the best job I'll ever have. No doubt, dude. <laughs> and with any luck, word of mouth will spread. Yeah, everyone's gonna know about this bikini car wash. Hey, guys. Hey. Britt, you totally missed the grand opening of Jack's bikini car wash. That's because I wasn't aware Jack had started his own business. Oh, uh, it's no big deal. It's just for my business class. Yeah, and the whole bikini aspect, it's, it's just a marketing thing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> The important thing is just running the business. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. My bad. 
So you have girls in bikinis washing cars? Uh, yeah, Britt. It's a bikini car wash. You can't not have girls in bikinis. You know, Jack, we're probably the only bikini car wash in the whole zip code, if not the whole fucking state. We're pioneers, bro. It's inspiring. <laughs> wow. Just like Lewis and Clark. Wait till the girls in my film class hear about oh, this. Oh, no, I don't know about that. Oh, can I be in it? Yes. Oh, yes. you should totally put me in it, too. People love looking at this fucking face. I'll start filming tomorrow. No, no, you know, I, I'd have to get permission, and then there's forms to fill out. Don't worry, Jack. I'll just blur out the name when I edit it. No, you know, and the customers. Yeah, I'll just they might not... shoot around them or blur them out, too. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Great. Great. Hey. Sorry. Why? I'm just making a pop tart. Okay. Sorry. Amanda, stop apologizing. Hey, no, I know. I'm just... Hey, I'm sorry for blowing you off last night. I just have a lot going on. Yeah, I totally understand. My ex is just like, I mean, look at this body. Would you go anywhere else? <laughs> no, I would never go anywhere else ever. Like, like if I were him. <laughs> and my lips. I mean, these are just the perfect lips to kiss with. Yeah, pretty perfect lips. Yeah, yours are nice too. No, they're not. You know, if you dress a little different, more confident, and a little sexier, I think you'd get more guys' attention. Stop, what are you doing? Let me see your stomach. See? Perfect. Whatever. Anyways, thank you. <laughs> Your pop tart. Oh, yeah. Is it cool if I crash with you? Uh, the couch smells like puke and chips. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sure, whatever. Cool. You're the best, Amanda. Just real quick, oh god, yeah, I just wanted to thank everyone for today. You guys were great, really. I gotta run this thing for a week. So if you guys can help out for a few more days, that would be awesome. I can't, I got an internship. My friend Mia might be able to help. She's super cute. Oh, super cute is a great quality. I had fun, but I'm beat. Well, you know, once we actually get a rhythm going, I'm sure we can work more efficiently, guys. I've done some calculations, and if we're busy as my numbers suggest we may indeed be, Anyone working as a bikini person could bring home at least 200 bucks a day, maybe more, depending on weather concerns and, of course, traffic. <laughs> Shut up, Marvin. I did get some nice tips. You know, the pizza place is really flexible. I can still be cashier. I win. I don't mind showing off my girl. <laughs> uh, your girls? Those girls. <laughs> I'm a big fan of those girls. But do the girls really need to be out at the moment? Yes, they do. You want to touch them, Britt? They're all natural. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm good. Yeah, maybe we should just, you know, just... Sure thing, Jack. Don't want to offend anyone. No, oh, you're not offending me. You just don't need to fling them around. OK, Bratney. Hey, no fighting girls unless it involves mud wrestling or nudity, or both. <laughs> hey, Jack, this is going to be awesome. All right. Well, we got some interviews coming in today, but I've got to inventory supplies with Marvin, so can you handle them? No problemo. Yeah. Be professional. Obviously. I'm gonna need to see you in a bikini. Better? Yeah. Please tell your parents I said thank you. Experience, work history, blah, blah, blah. What are your best assets? Do these count? Yeah. Those count. Yeah, you know, great resume. We'll call you. Oh, 
Fuck, yeah. When can you start? Let it go, man. I miss anything? Man. April told me about the job. Here's my resume. Yes, yes you heard right. Um, what, 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 what are some of your qualifications? I'm an excellent customer service provider, and I'll pretty much do anything to make sure the customer is extremely satisfied. You're hired. Thanks, please. <laughs> um, great. Uh, can you tell us about some of the other positions you've held? Positions? I've been in a lot of different positions. <laughs> awesome. What are some of your faves? Are you flirting with me? You're making me blush, honey. No, no, no. He, he means jobs. No, I meant positions. I've had a lot of experience in a lot of different positions. And I'm very flexible. Flexibility is a huge plus. <clears throat> yeah, come on. Most of the jobs I've had have been under the table. As in... Novex, off the books, man. I know what under the table means. <laughs> this guy. Mia, look, wow, this, this all sounds great. It does, really. But see, I'm not solely looking for sex appeal. Oh, on this. I am. Vex. Did I mention my friend Neil owns an exotic car dealership? I'm sure I could persuade him to bring his cars here for washing and detailing. Okay, now is she hired? Welcome to the team, Mia. Is it up, hey, space? Nobody really thinks that's funny, Bobby. I meant to tell you that. Yeah, I like I give him flying fuck. Some people call him the professor. That's because he's a professor. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, he owns the space. So you're the new manager of this fine establishment? Temporarily. Good enough. We'd like to wish you the best of luck with your endeavor. Oh, cool, thanks. I was being facetious. FYI, I kind of like nerdy girls. FYI, you're nowhere near my type. Enough, Bobby. We'd like to make a withdrawal. Of what? I don't understand. Money, smart guy! You fail out of college or something? <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny. <laughs> and no, it ain't. And we mm, don't care. We truly don't give anywhere close to a shit regarding your situation. I'll make it simple. Dildo Dave. Yes! The professor and all the local joints eh, pay us a small weekly fee, and we make sure nothing bad happens to their businesses. It's a car wash, man. What could happen? Oh, it could explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely could explode. Boom! There's nothing explosive here. Uh, you never know. Actually, I do. We're just here to offer protection. That's all. Yeah, I'm gonna call the police. You put that stapler near my face, I'll break your boss's windpipe. It's cool, it's cool, man. It's fine. The money, or I break your nose, Thin your hands and something else randomly. How much? The usual. I don't know the usual. Jack, today's numbers look great. <laughs> I think the usual has just increased. How much did they get? More than I wanted to part with. How do we make it back? 
Hard work. I hate that idea. Any other options? Guys, you've got to see this. Now, here your girls do a good job. You did? Uh, you heard right. What kind of package would you like? The works. Four girls. Good choice. I hope so. Hey, I told you, Mia was a good guy. Hey, chill, man. We need to be careful, all right? This is high-end here. High-end people have high-end friends, which means more Ferraris. Yes, Vex, more Ferraris. So be super careful. Of course. <laughs> you winning, baby. Yeah? Yeah, I don't, I don't know about them over there. We let them lose. We gonna get with this one, please. Y'all know what we came to do, man. On the ground, please. <laughs> oh, hand wash only. Hey, nice job. I like this place. Perhaps I'll recommend my friends. Oh, we, we definitely appreciate referrals. Hey, and next time, let her climb on the hood. I want to be him when I grow up. Oh, hey, what's up, Kelvin? I wanted to ask you something. Sure. I think it would really help and get us a lot of business if we really push the envelope on the sexiness thing. I mean, I'll talk to Jack, but I'm not sure how sexy he'd want to go, though. I'm a really sexual person, so I can be as sexual as you want me to be. Really? Because, you know, I'm a pretty sexual person myself. How are you? Oh, yeah. I mean, Vex does rhyme with. I know what it rhymes with. So, show me, baby. Hey, Marcy. Sarah, my little sister's got a lemonade stand. Nice. Buy like some lemonade. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, heck yes. Please. Jack, buddy, can you spot me? The lemonades are on me. Three bucks and you can't break anything <sighs> over 20. There you go. Thanks. We made nine dollars now. Well, Sarah. We might sell other stuff too in case people get sick of lemonade. Like orange juice and milk. Ew, not milk, Sarah. That's disgusting. But maybe orange juice. And if you refer someone, you get a coupon for a free lemonade. It's a pretty good deal. Hey, everyone. I was going to stop by today for that rent check. Oh, I've got it right here, so no need. And the girls wanted to see what their big brother is up to. No, he didn't. Daddy said, let's see what kind of trouble you're getting into. <laughs> oh, Marcy. <clears throat> Did you finish painting? Painting? <laughs> like Jack would paint. Wow, this is some good lemonade. Jack. Yeah. 
Mother and I don't appreciate you trashing the house. Not everyone gets an opportunity like this. Well, Jack did just start a business. A business? Really? What is it? It's not going to be like that business project you did with the banana and donut, is it? No, banana donut. No. <laughs> that was a tasty failure. No, no, Dad, nothing like that. I'm just, uh, just helping someone out. It's no big deal. It's only temporary. Oh, I see. Is it a real business? Uh, yeah, it is. Daddy says the only way to make money is to be evil and ruthless. Heartless. No, he said ruthless. You're an idiot. Girls, that's enough. I'm gonna stop by in a few days. The house better be in good shape. Painted or not. Yeah, yeah, of course. Let's get you girls some lunch. But what if somebody wants lemonade? They'll be okay for a few minutes. Uh, good luck with your business, girls. Whoa, harsh. Sorry, did I say too much in front of your dad? You were in a jam. Yeah, you were totally jammed. You should just tell him the truth. Truth? <laughs> my parents don't know shit about me, and that's for their protection. So I should tell him that I might fail the only class he wants me to pass, that I got fired from the job I was supposed to keep to pay rent, and that I run a bikini car wash. That truth rocks, <laughs> my opinion. Maybe not all the truth. But I have to admit, this will be great for the movie. Built-in drama. <laughs> just pass the popcorn. Sorry, I get nervous in front of the camera. Can we try again? Yeah, I'll just keep rolling. OK, for real this time. So why I became a bikini girl? It's all about Benjamin's baby. Kelly, this is my interview. <laughs> but I do love the Benjamin. Back in the day, we'd say everything's going to be OK. Yeah. Yo, I used to play hoops in the backyard Back in the day, that's what I knew That was plenty fun Playing booty at 21 I never really won I always lost to Winston And the captain was the theme Around the time I started thinking rapping was the dream I had that throwback Starters jacket on the scene The one with the bulls When Jordan was on the team And Robin was getting teased That's a long way Yeah, for making a song Was off the ropes like Razor Ramon I got the edge too Big in my imagination And motivation to keep the chasing Kinda like we raised Kids. The last one to get it is a rotten egg And when they told me I should quit, I never stopped instead Back in the day, I remember when Diddy was all about the Benjamins Now we say it in. Don't you know that everybody's living free? Back in the day, we'd say Everything's gonna be okay trying to be funny. Hey, dudes, don't get ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm making it. <laughs> OK. Can I have everyone's attention, please? <laughs> but let me just say that I am very drunk. <laughs> but also, on Jack's behalf, I just want to say that we are off to a really good start, motherfuckers! Cheers! Woo! Cheers. I need my drinks to drink. I got rum.
I'd give these glasses, but I'm a little buzzed at the moment. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Actually, they're mm, 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 minty. Uh, not really sweet. Sweet to me would be like a little, little lollipop or something with a higher sugar content. <laughs> uh, but uh, candy cane, nice. Thanks. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, Tori, uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah, you just did, silly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> This one guy was so totally getting off when I was washing his windshield. He even had it out. Are you it? Yeah. That should be extra, right? Can I talk to you for a sec? Alone? Yeah. yeah. I'm a little concerned. I think there's a line that you don't want to cross with the car wash. I mean, Kelly's nipples did more washing than her hands. Oh, well, that's part of the deluxe wash. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. Sure. Or you can go with just the nipple wash by itself, but it's, it's a better value if you go deluxe. Now I see. <laughs> then the nips are fine. No, you're, you're right. I'll talk to them. We shouldn't have the nipples out. Just looking out for you. Um. Just looking out for you, too? I wouldn't want you falling down and breaking that pretty little ass. Camera? <laughs> yeah, that'd be awful. You know, you're doing a really nice job with the car wash, even though I wasn't exactly sold on it. Well, that makes two of us. Seems like the girls are into it, too. And my film might actually turn out better than I thought. That is, if the girls in my class don't steal my footage and burn it. That wouldn't be so bad, would it? Kidding. Kidding. <laughs> I'm sure you've probably got enough car wash footage, though, right? I, I could use more footage. Unless you don't want me around. No, 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 that's, that's not what I meant. I, no, I totally want you. Around, around, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> then I'll be around. <laughs> cool. Hey, guys. Am I interrupting? <clears throat> uh, actually. I need another beer. Oh, wow. Someone has a bug up her ass. No, nope, I don't think she has any bugs up her ass. Or anywhere else. You're the boss. And a really good one. Well, I don't know about that. If it wasn't for your creativity, none of it would have worked. I didn't really do that much. Aw, you're being modest. But I was thinking that um, maybe we should tone down some of the sexy stuff. Why would we want to do that? I mean, I, wa I want the business to be successful. Of course, but, um, you know, just not with all the nudity. What's wrong with a little nudity? Nothing. In the right context. Is this the right context? Well, yeah, sure. But, you know, the car wash isn't really the place. But you know I'm all about customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction is critical. Oh, Jack, you're blushing. <laughs> Am I? No. Just one more button. <clears throat> Jack, you can't feel a girl up and leave her hanging. It's not polite. Am I right, Britt? I didn't, I wasn't. I wouldn't. I'll see you guys tomorrow. But Britt, look, uh, but we're celebrating. Then celebrate. I'm tired. You may want to put those away. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go back to the party. Oh. What are talking about? So all I was saying before is that I just, we just need to be careful about going too far. But going too far is too much fun. <laughs> Especially when Tori has a few drinks in her. Put on a show for us, Tori. Go, Tori. Go, Tori. Go, Tori. Go, Tori. Go, Tori. Is this going too far? No. Is this too much? Keep going. Four 
some advice yeah sure what's up okay um i have this friend who really likes this girl and wants to ask her out but he's a bit apprehensive that's pretty normal is he cute well uh i'm not sure i want my categorize his appearance but let's just say he's no stud muffin does he have a personality is he funny girls like funny funny can be pretty hot like jokes or ventriloquism put it this way the guys I date are cute, but they're also funny. The last guy I dated was about a seven, but he had a great personality, which made him a nine. Gosh, uh, I didn't know girls rated guys. Of course we do. So tell your friend that a little bit of humor goes a long way. 
and good luck. These, no, these kind of things you see but once a lifetime. Take care of me. No, can't. Hey, shitbag! Bobby, easy. Fellas, I, I got the dough. Yeah, you better have. <sighs> what I do? You never stop. Stop what? You're like any of And easy. Just natter. Day, 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 day. day in, day out. No, I you never shut up. I, sh I can't even think when I'm around you. Yeah, what the fuck is an earwig? Forget it. Yeah, I... Uh... Here it is. Yeah, five. Okay. Damn. I was looking forward to breaking both your arms and beating you with the Papa! Whip. Lucky prick. Uh, hey, uh, can I get a receipt? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> How about this? I'll give you a... Get the fuck out of here. That works. What? No, I'm trying not to talk. Good. But you know, I really don't think I talk all that much to begin with. And when I do, it's because I got something to say or to state my opinion. And you know what? Give me the freedoms we got in this country. You can say what you want to. God so you, help you me. Can't leave it. You can't go. Hey. Hey, my Um, Tori, uh, do you know how to sp sp spot a blind guy at a nudist colony? For what? Uh, it's not. Hard. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> um, uh, what's the difference between love, true love, and showing off? Spitting, swallowing, and gargling. <laughs> That's disgusting. I gotta get back. Maybe it's my delivery. What do you think, Martin? Vanessa Shields. Uh, bikini car wash. Jack the Exploiter. He's so proud. Oh, come on, Britt. You know I'm not trying to do that. I'm just busting your stones. Relax. Really? Nobody's forcing us to work there. We're getting paid, and it's fun, and I can make a few bucks. Maybe we're exploiting the guys who are willing to pay way too much to have their cars washed. Uh, you're preaching to the choir, Vanessa. Oh, oh Vex agrees with me? Maybe I am wrong. Forget everything I said. <laughs> I'll just upload these for you. Thanks, Britt. You rock. See you guys tomorrow. See? Vanessa likes the bikini car wash. Oh, shut it. Hey, who's ready to go in the pool? All right, ladies, so we're offering detailing now, so just make sure to take a look at the new price list I handed out. Uh, plus, we're offering referral coupons. These are really good ideas, Jack. Great, great. Oh, Marvin got us a great deal on sealant, so we can offer that now. Try to get the customers to upgrade. You know, it'll make us and you all more money. I like the sound of that. We'll get them to upgrade. Just remember, sexy, not slutty. I'm not changing anything. We want to give the customers a reason to come back, right? Well, yeah, of course, but Jack's... Jack's like... doing this for his stupid class. He doesn't know what's best. I think he's doing a really nice job. The customers will come back for us, not for sealant. Without us, there's nothing. So, let's give them a reason to come back.
screwed. Now they're working together. What am I gonna do? Just talk to her and ask her out. I tried telling her some jokes. Oh, jokes. How'd that go? It didn't. Oh, you guys were right. She's in a league of her own. Marvin, look, they're all in leagues of their own. All right, you just gotta figure out which approach works best. Easier said than done. Think of it like a computer program you're trying to figure out. Like coding? Yes, exactly. So talking to a girl is like building a website? <laughs> OK, fuck the coding thing. Look, just talk to her. Ask her out. OK, um, but what if she says no? Marvin, look, if she says yes, then great. If not, then just move on to someone else. All right, cause look, Marvin, you're a smart motherfucker. And some chicks, they dig smart motherfuckers. Yeah, I am a smart motherfucker. Damn right you are. I got this. Damn right you do. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So, you really think he has a chance with Tori? He needed a boost. I'm just afraid he'll get his hopes up, you know? Yeah, but I mean, you know, what else should he do? Nothing? I mean, in high school, I wasn't all that smooth, remember? It was Vex that gave me the boost I needed. Megan Tucci, I remember. But she said no. Yep. But it made it easier to ask out the next girl. Who also said no. No, she said hell no. <laughs> but, uh, eventually one said yes. I like that. You really want to help them. I'll admit, it's kind of sexy. You think? Oh, just one second. Bikini uh, uh, car wash, thank you for calling. Jack. Keeping busy? Uh, very, actually. Oh, really? Just, uh, making a few twerks, uh, tweaks, uh, making, uh, just, just trying to jumpstart our business, that's all. Terrific. I'm interested in hearing about these tweaks. Oh, I'm I'm sure you'll be impressed. Okay. <clears throat> I'm screwed. Pretty much. Um. Hi. Hi, Marvin. <laughs> Did you want to ask me something? Are you just going to stare at me all day? Uh, yeah, um, I was, um, are you busy, like, later? Mmm, don't know. Depends. Why? Well, I was wondering if you wanted to go out with me or something. Me? Go out with you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know I'm not the typical kind of guy you go for, but, but I am a nice guy. And I'm fun as hell. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna beg. There are lots of girls in the world who'd love to go out with me, but I'm asking you. Mm, I'll think about it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Woo! What happened? She said she'll think about it. <laughs> I'm so glad Jack pumped me up. <laughs> By the way, why aren't you and Jack together? Don't mean to cry. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. I, I mean, we've always just been friends. I, I don't think he's into me like that. Oh, <laughs> all guys are into girls like that. It's a well-known fact, you see. <laughs> oh, are you the dating expert now? Well, I've researched the dating scene ever since I hit puberty. And just because I'm normally scared of the opposite sex, I've learned quite a few things regarding relationships. At least in, in theory. <laughs> in theory. I've got the charge to prove it. <laughs> Bye, come back soon. See, you're a natural. Oh, shut up. Guess who just asked me out? Marvin? Yeah, it's a good idea getting back at my ex. Don't you think? Going out with a guy like Marvin? I don't know, your ex was a real asshole. Amanda! What? I just remember cheating on you. I know, he's pretty dumb. Well, you should hang out with us, too. Hey, Mia said you wanted to talk? Yeah, um... Uh... I need you to tone things down. All right. 
but Vax said it was okay. Vax? Look, he's not running this thing. I am. Okay, if, if you can't follow the rules, I won't be able to have you on for the last few days of this. I'm doing it because of my girl. Because you're getting breast implants? No, not those girls. My daughter. Her dad is a deadbeat. I had no idea. Sorry. I'm sorry. I should have told you. Look, everyone has stuff going on. All right, just, just play it cool. You know, don't cross the line. All right, I've got a lot riding on this. I just, I just don't want to blow it. Okay? Thank you. Hey, bro. Want to see me? You told the girls it was okay to sex it up out there? You know I didn't want that, man. My grade and everything is on the line here. It was Kelly's idea, really. When did you talk to her about it? Uh, I don't know. You know, the other night. Before or after you had sex? I didn't say we had sex. Before? <laughs> no, I mean, I was stressed about cash, and Marvin said that sex lowers your blood pressure, so that's why I did it, you know? For health reasons. Oh, you had sex with her for your health? Yeah. And you're blaming Marvin now? Vex. I'm supposed to be in charge here, man. You went behind my back. Well, I didn't think it was that big a deal. You're not gonna can me, are you? I don't know, man. I, I gotta think about it. <sighs> Stupid fucking penis. Hey. Hey. So, did you fire Vex? He's refusing to get drunk. No, that'd be ruthless. Or is it heartless? Not sure. Ask your sisters. <laughs> So, does the inventor of Easy Corn think running a business is harder than he thought it'd be? First of all, Easy Corn could be a hit if marketed well. Dude, it's corn in a baggie. It's the perfect snack, come on. Yeah. And now a bikini car wash. My ideas are just ahead of their time. Mm, sure, that's what it is. <laughs> <sighs> My dad's gonna kill me. Probably. But fuck it, you know? You're not your dad. And I didn't think a bikini car wash was the best plan, but you know what? It works and it's helping everyone. Yeah, and it saved Vex from getting his legs broken. Can Vex be saved? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's weird, and I never thought I'd say it, Easy Corn, but your bikini car wash is actually doing some good. Girls in my class would kill me for saying that. <laughs> well, look, if they do, just make sure to film it. My damn, my damn, my damn, my damn. They all want me to fall. But I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Because I'm a stay on point. Because I am, I am, I am. They all stay on point. They all stay on point. They all stay on point. You think she's with her ex? Yeah, probably. She said anything about going out with me? No. Why do we like her? Is she even our type? Uh, is it just because she's hot? <laughs> if she went for me, uh, it'd only be temporary. I know that. I even calculated the chance that she was actually into me, and it was infinitesimally small. Mm, I'd probably have the same chance. No, uh, I calculated yours too. <laughs> it was marginally higher. <laughs> and how did you calculate that exactly? Charts and graphs mainly. Uh, it's very complicated. <laughs> I didn't know she was in the girls too. But uh, I can't say I blame her. <laughs> you look magnificent in a bikini. Oh, that must be the booze talking. <laughs> nope. I have a very high alcohol tolerance. <laughs> Well, it was fun, but it's just not really my thing. Just did it for her. 
dumb, right? Not at all. I don't dress up nice for just anyone, except for like a, a prom date or something like that. You know, <laughs> you know I think a nice shirt's a lot different than a bikini, my wife. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> you look fantastic now, too. Not just in a bikini. I just never noticed before. <laughs> Not sure why. <laughs> If I were Tori, uh, I'd totally be into you, um, if I were her. Where were you? My exes. He's such an ass. I told him that Marvin asked me out, and he just got all mad. But it's whatever. Come here. I really love this dress on you. I told you that you had really nice legs. You feel nice, baby. Are you drunk already? A teeny bit. <laughs> I just don't think you're my type. Where were we? Um, well, uh, we were sitting on the couch and there was kissing. <laughs> Affirmative. <laughs> Sorry if I was mopey and lame last night. You were mopey and super lame. <laughs> and, uh, well, I thought about what you said the other day, and I've got to come clean to my dad and the professor. It's, it's really my only option. Ooh, you're going to have to let me film that. So, Jack, what makes a successful business? Uh, hard work. Good work ethic. Uh, hard work. Is... <laughs> <laughs> you said that already. Uh, yo, Jack. Hey, bro. Uh, do you got a sec? Sure. So, I just want to say that uh, I'm sorry for going behind your back. You know, I, I really do want this to succeed. And, and not just for me, and the fact that I can basically, like, look at boobies all day. But because you're my best friend, you know? And, um, you know, I think you're a kick-ass boss. Thanks, man. <laughs> you just don't want to be kicked out of the house. Yeah, that too. And the boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It's cool, but I do have to tell you something. Okay, shoot. What the hell, man? I paid my debt. Oh, I'm not here for your debt. I quit Polly's gang, but I'm out of money, so I'm here to take yours. Where do you keep the cash, bitch? Dude, we just made a deposit. Bullshit! Dude, why don't you just, like, rob a gas station I know you guys got it here somewhere. We ain't got no money, man. All right, that's bullshit, and don't make fun of my accent. What a job without a backup plan. This is my backup plan! Not a very good one. Yeah, even a retail job will be something. Yeah, like a stock boy yeah, or something. Yeah, you do have to recall it. True, and the customers are all. I'm not man. working fucking retail! They're just trying to help, man. You shut your mouth, dickbag! Why don't you let them when they shut up the retail? It was your condescending tone, you friggin' dweeb! I, I wasn't condescending! Fine! 
They fired me, all right? You happy? They said I was being too temperamental. Which is bullshit. I mean, yeah, I like to kick shit and blow things up every once in a while. But considering my upbringing, I'm pretty fucking low key. <laughs> low key? All right, that's it. Ooh, wait a second there, mister. <laughs> <laughs> It felt good. I thought maybe in the middle it was a bit much. Oh, no, it was just right. Hey, guys. Guys, what, what what's going on? Oh, they hurt. Bobby is in my theater class. And this was my improv final. It felt pretty good. Uh, do you know? Yeah, got it. I can actually taste the pain. So you're not a mobster guy? Well, it kind of, a little bit on the side. I'd rather be an actor. I'm trying to get out of the mob biz. Big Tony, though, Ooh, he's the real deal. He scares me, honestly. Well, you scared us. Aw. Uh -huh. Thanks. It's a compliment, it truly is. Can I make it up to you though? I, f I feel terrible, honestly. Yeah, and your balls, dude. Two things. Number one, get Polly off of our ass. I'll see what I can do. I can't promise anything, but some guys just did open a strip club next to his bar, so they're gonna want us to offer some protection. Yeah, it could explode. You never know. Yeah. What's the second thing? Freaking idea. Exploiting both sexes? Very smart. It's just balance. Like adding orange juice to a lemonade stand. <laughs> Vex, suit up. Yes, sir. Oh, you mean the <laughs> part-time mob guy, student actor, playing a stereotypical mob guy? <laughs> you didn't know that at the time. Oh, oh, it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, you and Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you ever have gone out with me anyway? Marvin, trust me. You don't need the drama. Besides, you guys make a really cute couple. <laughs> Just don't tell her any jokes. Deal. <laughs> and how about you? My ex wanted to get back together. I said no thanks. He's not my type. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna be okay? Yeah, I just need to be alone for a while, you know? Maybe like a day or two. <laughs> I'll figure out the rest. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how fast does this thing go? Zero to sixty nine in ten seconds flat. Oh, yeah. Oh. Painting my ass. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> Wait till his mother sees this shit. <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? Made it into a goddamn dormitory. Kelly, 
Billy, you can't do that. He's an old guy. You can kill him. I'm fine. Oh, Jack, come on. Wait till you see the tip I get. Look, I know you're doing this for your daughter and all, but this is not how I want my business to run. <laughs> oh, did you actually believe me? So you lied? Come on, Jack. Don't be such a prude. You need me shaking my ass at the customers because that's what makes them happy. She's right. Fiddler Jack, your dad is here. <laughs> Fuck! Jack! There's no Jack working here. N never has been. Thank you. Come again. Jack! Dad! Don't dad me. What the hell is going on? This is the business? It's just, you know. <laughs> and I was at the house, too. Uh, hey. My car's still very dirty. <laughs> One second, Dad. We're gonna need another bikini girl. Kelly, you can flag cars. But Jack! It's either that or nothing. I'll flag. <laughs> so, uh, how'd you know I was here? Oh, shit. I, I, I can explain, Professor. Please do. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out where to begin. You lost your job, so instead of finding something else, you had some students rent some rooms to cover your rent. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I can get them to leave if, if that's what you want. But just so you know, they're not just random students. They're, they're actually my friends. Yo, Ferrari guy's on the phone. He wants another wash, and he's got all these buddies at a car club. They want to wash, too. Hey, we'll talk about this later, please. So, am I getting a car wash today? <laughs> Hallelujah! Your housing situation, that's one thing. But this? How did you end up here? You said you were doing well. Dad, I failed my business final, and I didn't do so well on a couple of other projects. Can I just say, though, that the chocolate-covered sausage may not be for everyone, but I thought it was inspired. Oh, thanks, Brett. Jack, I gave you a chance. I did it for your dad. And this? This is what you did with it. A bikini car wash? Uh -huh. I'm sure you can understand the professor's concerns, Jack. Yeah, he looks pretty pissed. Oh, he is. This isn't what I had in mind. I analyzed your sales history, and this week, we brought in more money than your last three months combined. That's gotta count for something. Hey, I just gotta say, this is easily the best job I've ever had. I usually want to quit after, like, two minutes, but it's not like that here. Yeah, and I was able to pay for classes so I could continue going to school. And I got the best car wash ever! <laughs> yeah! Oh, and I got laid! <laughs> Which is a miracle, honestly. But probably not the best time for that announcement, buddy. Admittedly, it does look like they kicked up the sales a notch. Sales are impressive, but using bikinis and whatnot. Uh, it's called marketing, sir. Plus, I mean, never said we couldn't do it this way, right? Is that Bobby? Hey, Bill the Dave! Bobby Bullets. Yeah, he works here now. And by the way, Jack was able to stop the extortion that was going on here from those mob weirdos that you somehow failed to mention. Imagine the headlines if one of your students was hurt because of that. Oh, um. I didn't know they were due this week. Regardless, they won't be bothering you any longer, because Jack handled it. We handled it. Considering none of us knew anything about running a car wash, I'd say we kicked ass. I know that some of my projects this semester may have been lacking. Hey, long live Bano night. But you know, I'd have to say that this should be considered a success. So if this doesn't work out, maybe I'll open my own little bikini car wash and bring all my friends with me. That's my boss. <sighs> A plus? Not quite. But it'll be good enough for you to barely pass. Yes! I barely passed! Yes. 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 So that's what we're paying for college for. So you can barely pass. Oh, no, Dad, no, no, no. I took on a challenge and we made it work. That was the assignment. The grades are just letters and numbers, but this place. To me, this, this, this is what defines success or not. And the fact that we have shitloads of customers here and, and more on the way. I think that speaks for itself. Oh, boy. I'm gonna have to sell this to your mother, you know. Can I film that? No. no. <laughs> so that's it. Your extra credit's done. You guys can go. Uh, but we've, we've got more cars coming. Yeah, car club folks. And tons more later this afternoon. Well, we wouldn't want to lose business now, would we? All right, we got a big order coming in, guys. All hands on deck. Kelly, too. We're 
gonna need her. Jack, I like that you rose to the challenge. You know what impressed me? When you didn't fire that gal, that would have been the easier way out. She's a hard worker. Just needs a little guidance. <laughs> Don't we all? So, I wanted to ask you something. No, Jack, I am not gonna join the Bikini Girl car wash. Are you sure? Cause there's a hot pink bikini out there somewhere with your name on it. <laughs> no, uh, I was just thinking that maybe if you weren't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Will you go out with me? Like a date? Exactly like a date. I don't know if I can go out with the subject of my film. I thought you were just filming that for all your feminist friends so they can hunt me down. <laughs> <laughs> when I started, it was about college life, but then it changed. I decided to make it about... Hey! We got another Ferrari coming in. We can use some help, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you. The story of a dorky but kind of cute guy trying to open a business and making it work. Cute? I guess. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, maybe we can use Easy Corn in your film, a little product placement, you know? Um, no. No? Okay. <laughs> So that's how I started my business. Our business. Because it's not just me. It's these awesome people around me that made it work. And yeah, the bikinis help. So, what's the secret to running a successful business? Hard work and determination. And boobies. Shake that booty. Shake, shake that booty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tenacity. And balls. And accurate calculations. <laughs> the girl. Another secret to a successful business? Easy corn, banano nuts, corn on macabre. Gag. The threat of violence. <laughs> Running a business takes a lot of things, but principally, honesty. Self-confidence. Trust. How about the guns? Um, probably me. Tori, I swear to God, she digs me. Wait, what was the question? I think you know my answer. It starts with a B. Dedication, probably. What is that? Martin wants to answer the questions too. Focus and guts. And it rhymes with newbies. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. As stated in my class, 50% of small businesses fail in the first year. And with these three monkeys running it, it'll definitely fall in that category. Wait, what's your answer, Britt? <laughs> hey, I'm the interviewer here. Oh, no, you don't. Speechless for a little bit You're feeling helpless A little bit for tonight Waiting for the nudity 
right.